so here we are at Back Creek and we had a contractor come through here and he's been spraying out all the asparagus because that was recently in flower and seed. So this yellowing here on the asparagus, uh, that, that will die off over the next uh, month or so. But what's, what we've also found here is this, what looks like a dead plant, is actually the leaves and stem of glory lily. And glory lily is our next big problem around here because what happens with this plant is in summer they grow long stems like so. In winter, however, this hasn't been poisoned. This has just died back over winter. And so it's very hard for us to treat it at this time of, of its growth cycle. And you can see it's quite an extensive creeper. And this plant has the potential to take over this entire area. So here we have some seeds of the glory lily. Now I understand all parts of this plant are very poisonous. In fact I did hear that it was the favourite form of suicide in Sri Lanka, which may be an urban myth but who knows. Uh, anyhow, the, what, we, what we will do with these is we'll collect these and bag them because birds, probably foxes we don't know, but something is spreading them. And they're spreading all through the bush so as we clear this asparagus and bitu bush, we're likely to get a much worse infestation of this plant. So we'll gradually move them out as soon as we find them. Then what happens is we come back in November, the new growth comes up. So we spray we in November to uh, December, and then again in February when it started to flower and set seed. So we try to hit it twice. It's a very difficult plant to kill because under the ground, if I can find one later, you dig them up and they have white fleshy tubers about the thickness of your finger and they're very brittle so if you're starting to dig them they'll break off and you've got a whole new infestation still under still there waiting to happen and even these seedlings when when the seedling grows you dig underneath and it's already developed quite a large white fleshy root so here we've got a relatively large patch of glory lily. So what we do here is we GPS this so that in November when the plant's growing, we make sure we come back and treat the uh, infestation. So we just run the GPS program on our phone, which is great that we now can have these things on phones. And once that's located it, we just hold it and save it. So now I'll plot this into our mapping program. We do all our mapping on Google Earth. And so in November, when we've got the contractors coming back to do Glory Lily, we'll make sure they come back to this spot and get these particular ones. 